Hello and welcome students. I am Dr. Adil Patel and for this semester I will discuss about biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics with you. This particular subject comes under the department of pharmaceutics and in this particular subject we discuss about the behavior of drug and the movement of drug after the administration inside the body. So let us start this introduction class. So in this lecture I will discuss the basic definitions of biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics and we will have a look at the syllabus and the kind of topics given in syllabus so that you have some idea about the coming discussions of this particular subject. So the very basic question is what is biopharmaceutics? So it is a major branch in pharmaceutical sciences which relates between the physicochemical properties of a drug in dosage form and the pharmacology, toxicology or clinical response observed after its administration. The next question is what is pharmacokinetics? So it is currently defined as the study of the time course of drug absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. So these are four very important processes which is happening inside the body after the administration of drug. So absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion. So the study of these four different processes is collectively known as the pharmacokinetics. So this particular figure would help you to understand the movement of drug inside the body and also it would help you to understand what do you mean by the biopharmaceutics and the pharmacokinetics. So as you can see here after the administration the drug undergoes various processes like absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion where absorption is the insertion of the drug inside the body, distribution is the equal distribution of drug in various tissues and organs of the human body. The metabolism is mainly related with the conversion of drug molecule under the influence of various enzyme and excretion is the removal of drug from the human body. Now let us see the syllabus which we are going to discuss throughout this semester. So in unit 1 there is a general introduction to biopharmaceutics. In that you will learn about absorption process in detail which includes mechanisms of drug absorption through GIT then various factors influencing drug absorption through GIT absorption of drug from non per oral or you can say extra vascular routes. So basically we are dealing with two different types of routes of administration. The first set of route of administration is the oral route and the second one is non oral route. So we will discuss about all these aspects in this particular topic. The next topic is about the distribution. So in that we will discuss about the tissue permeability of drugs, binding of drugs, the apparent volume of drug distribution, plasma and tissue protein binding of drugs, various factors affecting protein drug binding, kinetics of protein binding and the clinical significance of protein binding of drugs. So the phenomena of protein binding is also very important process in the entire science of biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics. So we will discuss about that particular thing under the distribution heading. In unit 2 mainly we will discuss about 
the various aspects of elimination like drug metabolism and basic understanding of metabolic pathways, the renal excretion of drug, various factors affecting the renal excretion of drug, renal clearance, non-renal routes of drug excretion. So mainly kidneys are involved in elimination of drug but it has been observed that some amount of drug is also excreted via other or you can say the non-renal routes. So we will discuss about the elimination in detail to understand the entire elimination process. Next we will discuss about the bioavailability and the bioequivalence. So in that we will start with the definition and objectives of bioavailability. Then we will discuss the absolute and relative bioavailability. The measurement of bioavailability in vitro drug dissolution models. In vivo in vitro correlation bioequivalent study methods to enhance the dissolution rate and bioavailability of poorly soluble drugs. So the bioavailability is the amount of drug which goes into the systemic circulation and bioequivalence is when we are comparing a standard drug with the generic drug in terms of their biopharmaceutical and pharmacokinetic behavior. So we will discuss about both these terminologies and various aspects related to bioavailability and bioequivalence. In unit 3 we will mainly focus on pharmacokinetics and in that particular unit we will discuss about the definition and the introduction of pharmacokinetics in detail. We will also discuss about the compartment models for the ease of study the entire human body is divided into various compartments so we will discuss about various compartments and the entire compartment models then we will discuss about non compartment model physiological models one compartment open model in that we will discuss about the intravenous injection which is also known as the bolus we will also discuss about intravenous infusion and extravascular administration. Further, we will discuss pharmacokinetic parameters like elimination half-life, volume of distribution, area under the cow, absorption coefficient, clearance timing and the clearance rate. So we will discuss the definition and the methods of elimination also we will try to understand their significance and application so the unit 3 is going to be very important from the exam point of view because lot of technical information we are going to discuss under this particular unit at the end in unit 4 we will discuss about the nitty-gritty of multi compartment models in that we will discuss two compartment open model so that includes IV bolus kinetics of multiple dosing steady state drug levels and calculation of loading dose in the last unit that is unit 5 we will discuss non linear pharmacokinetics we will discuss the introduction and various factors causing non linearity we will also discuss theories like Michelis Menton method for estimating various parameters and explanation with example of various drugs. So this is how we will discuss this entire subject that is biopharmaceutics and pharmacokinetics. Once again what is biopharmaceutics? So it is mainly related to the behavior of drug inside the body after administration and what is pharmacokinetics so pharmacokinetics is mainly a science or you can say a study to understand the absorption distribution metabolism and excretion of drug followed by the oral or non oral administration so thank you very much for joining let me know if you have any query or question
I would be happy to answer your question. We'll discuss about all these topics in detail from next lecture onwards. So thank you very much for joining. Have a good day and stay safe.